Hi Anne-Marie, um, welcome to Candos. I hope you're finding it um, lovely. Definitely lovely. What do you think of Candos? I really love Candos. I, um, I feel really at home in the streets here and I, I love the landscape. I love the way every morning there's this shriek of cockatoos and a great flock of white cockatoos goes over to make mayhem in someone's trees. It's a great way to start the day. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. So, um, what have you got planned for Samantha? <sighs> Surviving. <laughs> um, my work for Samantha comes in two parts. There'll be an installation in the window of Candos Projects and a performance over at Henbury. And the link between the two is a series of ideas and a native grass, a native tussock grass called Poa. And a few years ago, I started making works using topographic maps and the grass to do cross sections of um, country and that I had a particular connection to or had a story around. And what I've proposed for Candos is to work with one of the sort of great human stories, Dispossession. Uh, many years ago I got very interested in the, the Highland Clearances whereby the, the non-gentry folk of Highland Scotland were expelled from their ancestral country because the gentry could make more money with grazing sheep than they could with the traditional lifestyles on the place. So effective, effectively you've got an indigenous people displaced by capitalist forces and the growth of material culture in Britain and initially they went to Canada, the United States, New Zealand and Australia. So I found, I was fascinated by the emotional quality of those stories. Even Karl Marx wrote about the clearances as one of the really egregious excesses of capitalism because it was so quick, so painful and so unnecessary. And I the first time I made a grass work, as the poa dried, I was struck by its sound. It's got this shimmering kind of sound that took me into really particular spaces around memory and remembering and surprising things, connection to place. And so for Candos, I've met with a couple of older people in the community who are descended from, in some way, from Highland Scots who came here more or less straight away after they left Scotland. And so what I'm exploring in the work is shifting connection to country. And so many of those people with nothing who came here desperately wanted to own their own land. And one of the people I'm working with, George MacDonald, is descended from a family who were able to do that after many years of hard work here, they had the money to buy some land and they're still farming it. And the beautiful thing about George's story is over the course of his life, he has turned to sustainable agriculture as a way of restoring the land, building back the, um, the humus and the moisture in the soil. So making it more drought proof and a more sustainable way of farming. Wow. Fantastic. Well, thanks for that. It's a pleasure.